I got a lot of questions about Cody, so let me give you a little bit more information. Cody is a great program for free television, HBO, Showtime, uh, network TV, anything that you want to see. But this is not a tech channel, it's not about tech, and so I'm not going to go into depth, but I am going to give you a little bit more information on it and a suggestion on how to try it out before you spend any money buying a fire stick or some other TV um, box. So for those who are asking questions about this, I, I hope this helps and get you going, get you on the right track. What you have on the screen right now is Amazon Fire Stick. And you'll see that if you move down one of the selections you can load on here is Cody. Uh, there's descriptions on YouTube on how to do it. It's pretty simple, but I can understand where some people might get flustered. Also, maybe you're not sure you want Cody. So is there another way to check this out? And the answer is yes, your smartphone. And let me, you can see here, I downloaded the Kodi app. And the Kodi app will load onto just about any platform. I use Android, this is a Samsung. It'll also go on Apple. If you load it on an Android, you can go to the, um, you can go to the Play Store and just type in Cody and look for the app. And you'll find it, you'll download it, it's pretty quick. And then you um, set it up. There's also a Cody setup program you can download. It might make it easier for you. So you go to the Play Store, you click on Cody setup. There's an app for that. And it will load Cody on for you. Now Cody is a shell program. That means it's just the structure, the framework. And if you're going to have the actual programs, then you have to choose, and there's a lot of different ones. The most popular, and it's the most popular by far because it's the best one, is Exodus. So you want to look for Exodus, and you want to enable, uh, you want to activate ex Exodus, and then you have all kinds of choices. But what you can do on your phone is, I'm going to select the app, see it opened right up, but then I need to go here and smart view. If you have a smart TV that's within the last few years, you're going to have the ability to do something along the lines of screen mirroring. There's all kinds of terms for it. It could be sharing, it could be screen mirroring. So now I've connected to the TV, and what you see on the TV is what you see on the, on the phone. And I see some glare on here. Let me see if I can move, get away from the glare. And here's the phone. Okay, so I chose Exodus, I already have it set up. I'm gonna to go to My TV Shows, and you don't need to actually see the phone because you're seeing it on the screen. Now you can see here, these are the shows that I have chosen um, to have in the library. It doesn't, it doesn't store these, so you're not using up any uh, space. And these are shows that I, you know, if I'm going to watch something, I'll, I'll pick from these. But virtually every TV show that ever was or ever um, ever is in any country, be it England or Canada or South America, you can choose shows uh, from there. So anything that exists is basically there. Now, you don't have to use 
uh, Cody to do this. If you have a smart TV and a smartphone, uh, let's exit out of here. You can go to you can go to Netflix, and you can do your Netflix from your telephone. Now, if you're going to use your telephone, just make sure that you keep it plugged in for the power because you watch TV for a while and this is going to eat up your, your battery. I mean, it's not any worse than any other app, but if you're going to sit and watch a movie, your battery is going to get pretty low. So you want to make sure it's just plugged in and you're taking that load off of your telephone. That's basically what you can do to get these programs on your TV without buying other uh, boxes. Now, this is what I would recommend. You can go ahead and do this on your phone and give it a try. See, you know, see what you think. You can do YouTube or anything that's on that you can put on your phone. Well, obviously it will show up on your TV. If it works out for you, then I strongly suggest that you get something like Amazon Fire Stick. It's going to, the interface is going to be easier. It's not going to tie up your phone because, you know, if you're going to answer an email or something while you're watching a show, you can't really do it like this, with, you know, unless you just put it on pause and restart it. Also, it works well on a good phone. It will not work on an Android system older than 4.42. Uh, it just simply doesn't work. But if you're going to get something back around there or even at that, um, that level, you may have some issues. Also, I tried this on a Chinese pad that I've got, a 7-inch pad, and it works pretty good for... It works pretty good for uh, YouTube and for Kodi, but for Netflix, uh, the screen doesn't show up. Some of the lettering does, but the screen doesn't show up just because it's, it's not very good technology. But if you're using a relatively new, I'd say in the last five or six years, Samsung or Apple, uh, this is going to work out great for you. And so I say give it a try. It's absolutely free. You're going to have everything you could possibly want on TV, including movies, including recent movies. So that's how you can give Cody a try. I hope this works out for you. Um, I've used it for some time and I can tell you it's magnificent. It's absolutely free. Everything is at your fingertips. It's a very uh, well-designed program that works well. I've had no problem problems with it. I put it on a tablet, I put it on my phone, it's on my Amazon Fire Stick. No issues whatsoever. Um, my TV has an issue once in a while and it's not because of Cody, this happened before. If it's, if it's been on for a while uh, on the Fire Stick, I have to unplug the Fire Stick and put it back in because the the voice and the lips kind of fall out of sync. It's like a bad Godzilla movie. But that was before I loaded Cody on. It has nothing to do with Cody. Uh, it's probably because I've had the Fire Stick for a long time, and it's had a lot of use in it over the, over the years that I've had it. And I probably should just buy a new one. Good luck with this. See you later. You know you could. Right now it's May 6th and I already have on here uh, the, oh, what's the name of it? It just came out in the theater. It just came out and it's already on Cody. Um, it's a Marvel, Marvel Comics. It just came out in the theater. It just came out and it's already on Cody.